Well, I think you've run into this before. Um, you're working on one project and you decide you need something. And so you create yourself a new project and you put the other project on hold while you do this new project because then you can use it to the old project. So <laughs> anyway, I decided that I needed um, for this thing and for the mixer and for some other things, I needed an AC supply. Um, even if I go get a wall ward or something, I wanted something to be able to test power supply circuits and stuff, just have something quick offhand that I have a, an AC power supply for. And I just, I have an AC power supply, it's not very useful, but I thought um, I would find a transformer and just kind of cobble it in. And then I kind of came up with the idea of, no, I should make that a tool for the, for the, for the garage. I should have a dedicated little box that just has some AC outputs on it that I can hook up to power supplies just for testing purposes and stuff. And um, I could put this on a Variac and change the output voltage and like I could do various things with it. But anyway, I needed, I needed an AC um, thing and transformers seem to be expensive these days. So I figured well, I better go see what I've got in the uh, junk bin. And so I found this thing. I, I, I took this apart before I decided, oh, I should, I should do a video on it. So, so this thing kind of, this thing kind of went here and, and this thing went in here and, and these transistors poked at the top and anyway it was a power supply and it's a very old power supply I'm trying to remember what this came out of um, I don't remember but it's from the 80s uh, it is a plus 5 volts at 2 amp plus or minus 12 volts at 0.4 amps and then it says you can jump some things around there and you can get negative 5 out if you want I don't know why I just didn't do that in the first place but Made in the USA, so Power One, big famous company for power supplies. So I, uh, I took the transformer out and measured it. Well, first I measured it before I took it apart, figure it was something I might be able to use. And, the, and it's got a 110 volt input, so it's already strapped for that. And it's got uh, 8.5 volts to center and 8.5 volts to center uh, on this winding and 21 to center and 21 to center on this side. So this side's a really nice plus and minus 15. This one's a really nice uh, plus and minus 5. And, um, or just plus 5 at more amps. So I thought, okay, I'll take that. It's kind of a, kind of a beefy. Um, and um, anyway, took it apart. This thing wasn't solid. This, these are really old. So let's see, what's the 82... Yeah, 1982 date codes on the transistors, so it's pretty old. And I'm sure all the capacitors are dead on it and stuff. So anyway, I uh, took that apart. I took off some parts that I want, which are the rheostats, so pentiometers. So grab those. There was a couple of big, couple of big diodes. To save those. Why not? I've got a huge bin of diodes. But anyway, that goes in the trash can. Done. All right. Oh, and there were some op amps. Um, and which I thought were op amps, but they're not actually op amps. They're actually voltage regulators. They're an old, an old Signetics chip, I believe. Um, LM three, uh, LM seven twenty threes, and so there's three of those LM seven twenty threes, and they're basically the guts of a three terminal regulator. Uh, they're like a, they're like a three seventeen regulator, um, just just the this the smart part of it so i'm going to save those in case i ever need them for repairing something but don't intend to use them i'll just use three terminal regulators they're better and there was some nice heavy duty uh, npn transistors which test okay so i'll just put those in my junk bin save those nice big heavy duty ones motorola nothing but the best all right so i'm going to save all that stuff i just want to i just want to use the transformer and i need to put it in a box so I figured, oh great, I'll use one of these boxes. I got a whole bunch of these things. And it don't really fit. I thought about maybe billing, milling out a slot and putting this in there, but it will still like stick out. And I mean, yeah, it's it would fit. I could this thing would this thing would poke out the top. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of decided not to do that one since I had something else. And let's see, let me grab it here. So I've got a couple of these. So I took this off the shelf. And it's a, um, um, 
a DAT tape drive, a Hewlett Packard DAT tape drive, which I uh, don't remember what happened to the DAT drive itself, if it got inserted into something, but or maybe I just threw it away and said I'm just going to keep the bottom part. So the bottom part's cool because it's already got a, a, a AC connector on it. It's already got a switch on it. It's already got a fan in it. So that's cool. I can use all of that. And then inside it's got this little switcher power supply. And um, I'm sure that's why I saved it. I was going to put some project in here and just use the AC supply here, or the DC supply. But I thought what I'd do is I'd rip out the switcher and put in a uh, put in a linear. So that'll be cool. And then I'll, maybe I'll just put a, um, a little uh, strip along the uh, a screw terminal strip along the side here with uh, with all of these settings. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be really useful. Oh, it even has an LED in the front. I can use those for for uh, for power on. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, it is a good size. It's uh, it's not too big, and it's gonna it's gonna fit my transformer very easily. All right, let's take the top off here. Go. Oh, what do we have inside? We have a computer products supply, 100 to 240 volt input, and unknown output. Interesting. Uh, here's the output. Something goes to the LED, something goes to the fan. Oh, and this goes to, so it must be, it must be plus five and, what is it, must, plus five and minus 12? Is that the way these work? I don't forget. Or it's plus 12 and plus, plus five and plus 12. Anyway, it's, it's a two, a two voltage supply. I guess we can turn this on and, uh, and measure it. Yeah, why don't we do that? Magic smoke. Oh, the green light came on the front. See that? Green light. Green light's good. All right. Uh, voltage measuring devices. Ground. Uh, let's see here. Ground. And ground in red. Ground in red measure 11.7 volts. And ground in orange measure 5.1. Are they both positive? Yeah, that one's positive and, and that one's positive. So yeah, positive 12 and positive five. So nice little supply. I'll save that, put it in place. I've got a ton of power supplies. Um, so I'll mark it as good and put it on the shelf. Okay. Oh. Our spot comes out, and uh, still doesn't still doesn't say how many amps or anything it is. Interesting. Usually it's written on written on these things somewhere. Usually on the capacitor. Usually there's a label on the capacitor that tells you what it is, but this one just has a number. So I'm missing it somewhere. I don't see it. Anyway. I'm going to guess it's good to five, plus five at two amps and plus 12 at half an amp, something like that. That's just a guess. I really wish these had plus or minus. Um, having a plus or minus 12 is much more useful than just, oh, here's plus 12. I guess you can run some op amp single rail, but otherwise. I found this uh, uh, strip here, and it's the right length. 
So I'm going to figure out a way to, there's some couple screw holes here, so I'll make a little plate or something to, to hold this in the front. So that'll be my connections. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So three for the one tap, three for the second tap, and then uh, a couple extras. Um, don't know what to do. Anyway, should be good. All right, there we go. I uh, put the strip here. Uh, it's on a little, uh, zoom in, I guess that's all I zoom. Uh, so it's on a little PC board, so I can solder wires to it. It's on some uh, nylon standoffs. I won't short out anything. So that's uh, gonna stick out the front. There's a transformer, goes to the switch. Uh, the fan and the LED don't work right now because there's no power in there. But if I put the uh, put the case on, then it'll look like that. It'll stick out a little ways, but that's okay. There's the back. So this would be very useful for testing things. Anyway, side project for the day. I think I'm done for the day.